Anyway, now she's a cannibal. What? Right? I knew it. Unbelievable. Uh. Oh, good morning, Steve. How are you? Hi, I am Grace. I am great. This is Linda. She's starting to an accounts payable. Hi. Pleased to meet y'all, and I'm really looking forward to getting to know everybody better. Can I get you a cup of coffee? It's freshly brewed. Please, thank you. That'd be great. Um, but um, no, no cream for me. Oh, but um, we like to drink our coffee with cream and Lots sugar. Cream. It's really good. It makes the coffee nice and white. Right. Okay, that's great for y'all, but I want my coffee black. So you're anti-white coffee? No, I'm pro-black, I guess, which is a really weird way to put that. But hey, you know what? Whatever helps you. S so when you say that you want black coffee, you mean no juice or water? I didn't say any of that. And why did you just say black like that? Oh, OK, guys, calm down. OK, she just wants a black coffee. You know, why is this a debate? Oh, so you think black coffee is better than white coffee? He's one okay, of those. Yeah. Not at all. It's just that some people like black coffee and other people like coffee with milk and sugar like yourselves, okay? Both are perfectly agreeable. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't understand what the problem is. Uh, the problem here, Linda, is that when you're saying that you prefer black coffee, you're also saying that you want to exterminate all white beverages. Right. <laughs> and <What's> we, next? <laughs> we think that's wrong. Okay, wait, I think I just missed something. I never said I wanted to exterminate white beverages. That's ridiculous. You just said you wanted black coffee. So that automatically means I hate white coffee? Where does that even make sense? She said she hated right? it. When you single one out like Linda did, yeah. then you're basically excluding all of the others and I personally feel attacked by that. I am not about to ask for every drink known to man just so that no one beverage feels left out. <laughs> I don't know why you wouldn't do that. Why? Well, first of all, it is distracting from the point that black coffee in particular is really disrespected and underrepresented in this office. Oh, um, no. here we go again. That's, no, that's not been a thing for a mm -hmm. while, I don't think. Never. I have to step in here. I personally have never disrespected black coffee, okay? And in fact, I went to high school with a black coffee oh. drink. <laughs> and we were very friendly. And I have heard that Halle Berry also drinks black coffee and I find her very attractive. She's the best She's one. very uh, attractive. <laughs> okay, well maybe you haven't personally disrespected black coffee, but you've been complicit in allowing this white coffee supremacy in this office, and that, Steve, is just as bad. Interesting. I just find, like, black coffee to be kind of, like, <laughs> like I don't want to say bitter or aggressive. I was going to say aggressive. that. Is it aggressive? It's aggressive. Right? Wow! Okay, see, Black Coffee was doing just fine, minding its own damn business before y'all came over here and, and oppressed it with your cream and your sugar. <laughs> okay. See, that's what I'm talking about. I know. Good morning, guys. How's it going? Hi, John. Good. Yeah. Just here for my morning cup of joe. <laughs> because the best part of waking up is it's the in your cup. cup. So you can't even stand and sing the jingle now? Hello, 911. Yes, she is drinking black coffee really aggressively. And she won't stand for the jingle.